Hello everyone. In this Bolgrid tutorial, I'm going to talk about using third-party plugins in your Bolgrid site. Bolgrid works within WordPress, so the full field of WordPress plugins out there are still available to you, and you can use them on your site to add special modules and extensions. Uh, we often get questions about e-commerce plugins or setting up an e-commerce store within Bolgrid. To demonstrate how easy it is to get started, I'm going to install the WooCommerce plugin, which is an e-commerce plugin that was built for WordPress. So to get started with that, once you've logged into your BoldGrid admin dashboard, you'll just click on Plugins. And then click Add New. And I'm going to do a quick search here for the WooCommerce plugin. And here it should come up as the first option. Click Install Now. And then click Activate. You'll notice you're prompted to complete this brief setup wizard. So I'm going to run through it really quick. These are some default pages that WooCommerce will install automatically. Uh, the shop page displays your products. The cart page is where the customers go to view their cart and begin checkout. The checkout page is where the customers will pay, and they'll actually have a My Account page where they can uh, review past orders and, um, and manage account details. So click Continue. Your store locale and currency and weights and measures, these things are, are all uh, something you can easily determine. And you just click continue again. I'm going to leave these default settings. Shipping and tax, again, it depends on how you want to manage your store. For this, I'll again leave the default options. Payments. I'm going to enable PayPal and continue. And you see in just a few minutes, the setup wizard is completed and we can create our first product. I'll just give the product a name, description, We're going to leave it as a simple product and configure a regular price and a sale price should you need it. I'll also put a category on the right here. Add new category, clothing. Add new category. And for tags, Exercise is good tag. Active wear. And I'll click add to add those tags. And then the next option, which is important, product image. I'm going to select the image. See this picture of the man with the hoodie? And that's the product image. And now I'm just going to go ahead, publish the product, click the big blue publish button. Now I'll click view product. So now you see we have set our product up. It, um, it defaulted to the sale price and actually uh, put this nice sale button right here. But 
you can, of course, uh, activate and deactivate sales whenever you prefer. And you see my description is included here. And the next thing I want to do is add the shop button to my main menu here. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and add all of the, the WooCommerce buttons up here to our main menu. So you click on Customize. And I'm going to click the little pencil right next to the menu here. I'm going to click Add Items. These are the important e-commerce buttons. My account, definitely. Checkout, yes. Cart, yes. Shop. And I think that'll be good for now. I'm going to click Save and Publish. So now the shop page is available here. I'm going to close the customize window. And now your customer would arrive here. They can click shop. And there's our hoodie. And of course, any products you add will automatically populate to this page. So if I click on the hoodie, see it's on sale. I can add it to my cart. It says it's been added to the cart. I can view the cart. And there's the hoodie. So you can see how easy it is to set up an e-commerce store in just a few minutes in your BoldGrid WordPress installation. And you see how the, the WooCommerce plugin didn't interfere with uh, any of the BoldGrid processes. And all the same tools are available for designing and configuring your shop.